Jansen's Calabatus. Step 1. For this fly, we're going to use a, a curved 2x uh, number uh, 12 dry fly hook. You can really use anything. Any 2x nymph hook is fine. And some gray 6 aught thread. The thread's important. This is the color we're trying to achieve, either a tan or a gray. Because the thread's going to be the bulk portion of the fly's body. Step 2. Now for the tail, we're going to use some uh, golden pheasant uh, neck feather. This is the portion below the uh, the more readily used uh, orange and black fibers. You only really want probably four to ten fibers, somewhere in around there, because you want a fairly thin tail, which is at the same length as the hook shank. Quite a long tail for this mayfly nymph. Cover the whole body, it helps add to the bulk. Step 3. Now we're going to tie in a piece of uh, small silver wire. I prefer to use silver. And uh, wrap it the whole length of the fly. And again, we're only doing this to keep the body nice and consistent and add some bulk. Are you laying that right down the top of the fly? Right down the top, right down the side. It's not really that important for this. Step 4. Now we're going to take a piece of Ziploc bag and trim off a piece about an eighth of an inch wide. It's a cost-effective way of doing this, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's more expensive things to use. This works just fine. Now tie it in. Right down the whole uh, length of the body again, just again adding to a bit of the bulk so we don't have to build it up with all thread. Fly's going to be very skinny anyway, but this helps. Now take and wrap about two thirds to three quarters of the way down the hook with your plastic. Just gives you a bit of a shiny look to the fly because the nymphs are fairly translucent and a bit shiny shelled. Step 5. Now we're going to take and reverse wrap our ribbing just again to help reinforce the body. The ribbing's only really reinforcement for this fly. Tie it off again securely because if it breaks and comes undone, you're out of luck. Step 6. Now we're going to tie in the wing case, and again, it really makes no difference what you use. Uh, this is a, some mottled turkey. We're going to tie it in from the from the tip again, just because the tip's a little bit softer and tends to lay back better. Doesn't matter which side of the feather's up. Doesn't even matter really how you tie that in. And a big clump's just fine. Now that's about a hook gap width again? Uh, no, we're going to use a little bit less than a hook gap with this because it's quite a skinny fly. We're just going to build this portion of the fly up a little bit thicker. I notice your bobbin is always really close to the hook. You want to keep the bobbin close and then that way you don't have to keep uh, winding thread in in order to make wraps. If you try and have huge wide wraps you're just going to end up catching the hook or getting in the way or you can't really see what's going on. You don't have as good a control. Step 7. Now we're going to add some legs with a bit of a uh, imitation wood duck which is just mallard flank teal or wood duck in a in a tan or white or work fine. I noticed that the uh, you picked the piece of the feather where the uh, fibers were approximately the same length again. Yeah, somewhere off the middle section of the feather. You're going to use quite a good chunk because uh, it's uh, the, f the feather's tapered, so not really that many of the feather fibers show up. You can see there that there's not really much for legs on this. Legs are really optional. I don't think it really makes any difference whether you have legs or not. I don't don't think the fish are quite that smart. Looks better, though. Looks a little more realistic, but I don't know that it's all that necessary. And trying with those straight shanks, it's a little bit harder to keep the eye clean.
Try and keep those two, two legs separate. Now you're gonna pull your wing case directly over the top. Step eight. And you go right over the back of the fly. And tie that down. Always remembering to try and keep the eye clear. Always want to make that one or two loops before you let go of the material with your uh, right hand. Step nine. And whip finish it. Might be a good idea too as well to glue the wing case because it's just going to fall apart. It's quite a soft material. That's it. A really effective lake mayfly nymph.